Hey Kids HQ, are you ready for another um, Kids HQ video? I sure am. Uh, Sam, can you hear me, Sam? Oh my goodness, Sam has got his headphones on and I know just why. He is so excited to hear our song, Open My Eyes. What a fun song, but Sam, thank you for taking your headphones off. <laughs> I think that was an accident. Um, we're gonna listen to the song in just a minute, but before we get to the song, a couple things um, real quick. If you were on the Zoom call yesterday, thank you for joining. We'll do it again next week. Don't forget that I wanna hear an interesting fact about an animal during our Zoom call, so be ready for that next week. Um, and also, um, we are going to have, um, well, I'll, I'll tell that announcement in a minute, but let's get to our theme. We started our theme within the wild last week and we're talking, we're going on a safari, we're going on an adventure to find out all we can find about, about the Bible, the most important book ever written. Um, the, our, they call it our bread of life. It is what we are getting um, to um, fill us with God's word and to give us life and so we are discovering all that is in God's word who wrote God's word um, how we can study it and so that is what we're talking about and our scripture is Psalms 119 17 18 I would love for you guys to say it with me um, it is be good thumbs up be good to me your servant so that I may live to obey your word open my eyes so that I can see all of the wonderful things in your teaching. And that's Psalm 119, 17 to 18. Um, and it's a reminder that um, we are should have our open eyes to hear or see God's teaching in his word, open ears. Um, Sam, are you raising your hand? <laughs> do, you do you have something to say, Sam? Ooh, that's a good idea. All Sam can think about is our song, our theme song, because he loves it, right, Sam? So here, we, during our uh, video of our song we're gonna play now, uh, let's have Sam and Jimmy, you guys wanna be part of the video and dance along? So watch the video and find Sam and Jimmy. They're gonna be in there dancing along with the video. And there's also, I'm gonna put another item in the video in our in our open, uh, my eyes video that we're getting ready to create. There's going to be something else I'm going to input into that video and watch it, find what it is, because next week when we do our Zoom call, I'm going to ask what random thing or picture you saw in our video for today. After the video will be a, a Bible story about um, a prophet named Jeremiah and what God told him to do with the words he was telling Jeremiah. So enjoy the video, enjoy our Bible study. Open my eyes so I can see The wonderful things you have for me Open my eyes so I can be that you have planned for me. Head up, head down. Arms to the sky, arms to the ground. Come on now, spin around. Stop. Fuck it, monkey with it. can see the wonderful things you have for me. Open my eyes so I can be all that you have planned for me. Head up, head down. Arms to the sky, arms to the ground. Come on now. Head up, head down. Arms to the sky, arms to the ground. Come on now, spin around. Stop. 
monkey, monkey with it. Jumbo Rafikis, that means hello friends. I'm up and I'm here waiting for Adam. But I wonder where he could be. Maybe I'll call him real quick. Oh, it looks like he left me a message. Oh, you guys, this is a crazy message. Meet me, watch out for a croc. Oh man, I do not like the sound of this. What? That's cray cray. Adam! Hello, Adam! Adam! Hello! Where were you? Did you not get my message? Oh, I got your message. Loud and clear. Meet me. Watch out for a croc. No, and no, I'm no, watching. No, no. Meet me off the south route at four o'clock. Oh, south route at four o'clock. Whew, I'm glad I'm safe. I guess I just got confused by your message. I thought you were trying to tell me one thing when you're actually telling me something totally different. You know, that can happen. Sometimes we all get messages that are messed up or misunderstood, but you know what message is always perfect? The Bible. You got that right. You see, God knew that we would need something written down on paper so we could know who he is and how he wants us to live. In fact, God used over 40 different people to write the entire Bible. God spoke, and the authors would write it down. Two of the authors who wrote down the words God said were named Jeremiah and Baruch. Jeremiah was a prophet, which meant God would send him messages about things that were going to happen. During this time, the people were not living how they were supposed to. They were sinning. Dun, dun, dun. God wanted the people to stop it already. God knew they needed more information on who he is and how he wanted them to live. And Jeremiah was just the person to help. So God spoke to Jeremiah and said, write in a book all the words that I have spoken to you. Jeremiah wanted to obey God and he needed help to write down everything God said. And this is where the other guy comes into the story. So Jeremiah repeated every word God said to Baruch who wrote it all down. And then Baruch went into Jerusalem and read God's word to the people so they would stop sinning. God wanted Jeremiah to write down everything he said so the people could read God's words and know how to live. And because God told Jeremiah exactly what words to write, we know that the message didn't get messed up when Baruch wrote it down. So the same words that Jeremiah told Baruch to write down a way long time ago are the same words we read in our Bibles today? Yes, because the Bible is God's word. Wow, the Bible must be older than a rhino's horn. But if it's so old, can I still use it now? Of course, because the Bible never changes. Shoo, so God's word is perfect and it never changes. Not like the message you left me today. Yeah, sorry about that up. There's not Crocs for miles. All right, guys, it's time for us to take a dip in the watering hole. Quahari! Sure is a good day for a swim. Yeah! Okay, guys, I hope you follow along with our song. I hope you listen to our Bible story. Sam still has his headphones on from listening to our song. And Jimmy is still rocking out over here. I hope you guys have an awesome week. I love you guys. I miss you so much. I'm praying for you. And I can't wait to see you on next week's Zoom. Bye, guys.